it's all planned out, and I'm trying to remember exactly because this whole thing. Um, mine has a dragon in it too. Um, I can't remember. The title. I'll probably remember the title like halfway through. And, mm, so, in the cave, it was a very small cave. There was middle-aged. Maybe a bit older than that dragon. He didn't really like people. Because people came to his cave too often trying to steal his treasure. And, you know, that he didn't like people because it was his. And they came, tried to take it, so he had to defend it. So, there was one day where a knight, Caramel, had come in search of the treasure of... Oh, he was a red dragon, by the way. I'm in search of the um, uh, treasure of the red dragon. He rode up, dismounted off his horse, took a step in, and a f f wall of flame erupted in front of him. He ran. He ran and did not look back. He wasn't a very brave knight. He was... <laughs> Well, it's not that he wasn't brave, it's that, you know, you see a wall of fire in front of you while you're trying to go through a dragon cave. You really rethink what you were doing, don't you? <laughs> like, you know, this dragon could make me into pork chops. Or steak, or... So, maybe it's time for me to get out of here. He came back the next day, and the same thing happened. But he got farther into the cave. And for the next week... He kept getting further and further until he finally found the um, uh, dragon's hoard. And it was really small. It was supposed to be a huge treasury. It was like a few crowns, a sword, and then a pile of money. Because the dragon, in preparation, had eaten most of its treasure and left. And we stared at the pile, shook his head. So. Isn't the knight in the story supposed to, like, get all the treasure and save somebody? No. Caramor was left there with next to nothing. So he collected what was left. Walked out, and his horse had left. His horse got bored and left. 